Hey you guys, so welcome back. Uh, I know it's been a while since we've been on here. Um, been busy, constantly running around. So first of all, let me say welcome back to our channel. For those that ain't been to our channel, welcome to our new channel, Eric and Rebecca's World. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Um, it's me and my husband, Eric. And, you know, sometimes we have videos of our kids and stuff like that. So, all that uh, is on there. And right now we're uh, going through the journey of the movie from Indiana to North Carolina. So, if y'all saw any of our previous videos, y'all saw we was on a train and the bus from Indiana, from Richmond, Indiana, all the way to North Carolina. So... It's, uh, well, I've, I've been to North Carolina before, so I think what I'm going to do first, I'm going to ask Hubby how he like it and see how he feels about being in this new area, new environment, and how he thinks things should go and what we expect and what our goals are. Do not step on that. Shh, this one's like, so don't blame me. It really was. Okay, so I ain't going to tell nobody, but... Kayden just pulled a piece of the porch off. Shh. How you just said? For anybody who don't know Kayden, hold on. Can I flip it around? No. Oh, my God, mm. yes. No. Nope, it won't let me flip it around. Mm. No. That's Kayden. No. Say hi, Kayden. Hi. Good to see you. And we got Miata over there. Don't worry about okay. So, that Miata. And yeah. Porsche. Yeah, you can see it. I wanna take my horse to the hotel. Shut up. I, the kid. I don't I know what song she's singing. I practice with but you. the kid. But anyway, so in the middle, um right now. So right now we're um I'm gonna ask Dad how he feel about everything. Um and let me clarify real quick. Mm. This week has been... Uh. I said sorry. Every time. This week has been a rough week for me. Um, I've really yeah. been sick. I don't know. Like, really, really bad are this you, week. Are you done? Like, I have... Well, of course. You I have know been you're still standing here. drastically sick this week. Um, it. I don't. I don't know... How well I, I know how um, because I suffer from a disease called Addison's disease. So I'm going through some symptoms and some issues of it right now this week. Um, hopefully it's cleared up. But regardless of the fact I've had him the whole way to take care of me and he has done an immaculate job, like, he has held it down all the way, so, definitely thank you, honey, because that's what you do, like, go ahead, hmm? I thought you were about to say something, you can save 20% by switching the guy, Kyle. oh my goodness, see, but that, that part of him, Never left the whole time while I was sick, okay? I love it. He had so serious moments with me. Y'all can tell I was sick. Like, my eyes are still swollen. Oh, my goodness. Now that I see it, my eyes are still swollen, babe. So, that's really bad. My face is still swollen. Mm. Anyway, so, we're going to go in and ask Dad how you feel about this whole move, seeing how we haven't got a chance to do this part. So, honey... Let's go on how you feel about this <laughs> journey that we've been on. Feel fine. That's why I said I feel fine. All right, man. Yeah. It's nice down here. Um, it's not crowded like in Ireland. Uh, rent's cheaper out here. different 
and eat a lot of pork and barbecue down here. You are in the south. On a good note, they have shrimp. I have a big issue with not having my seafood. But they got it here. Because they are near the water. So, a lot of it actually. And then they have 20-something beaches. You look on YouTube. Something like that, yeah. And they might have more. Cause it said, it, it named, those were the top 20? Those were the top 20 beaches in Carolina. And actually, I think that was just North Carolina. I was about to say, was that just North Carolina, though? And that wasn't even the whole Carolina as one. I was just in North. But, um. <laughs> Maryland all day. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, he's Maryland all day, y'all. Bleed out all the way through. Thick and thin. But. That's about it for me. Just need a haircut. You still look good, though, babe. That's what I do. There you go. That's what he do, ladies and gentlemen. He just look good anyway. That's why he minds. And we'll stay minds. Anywho. Mm. What that? What, what that? Are like people? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Anywho. So. That's that's his point of view of it. Um, I don't know. You just get more help out here. Like on a paper has like for older people. I think it said fifty five and up. Uh huh. Easier for them to move in around here, and oh, it's cheap out here. It's really cheap. It's quiet, and everybody's not all in your face. I'm not leaving here. That's good to know. I don't know if you guys know, but Rebecca just broke one of the wood pieces. <laughs> he just snitched. Same thing. First, of all, first of all, first of all, y'all, I fixed it. I fixed it. So, never mind all that. I fixed it. And so did this one. Kayden was over there, though. Like over there somewhere. Mine ain't over there, so shh. Mine was fixable all the way. And people around here actually say hi when they go past you. Random people, though. It just happened. I was about to say, it just happened. And it, it happens throughout the whole day, like. No, I'm, we're not saying that, you know, some areas of, some areas of North Carolina ain't, you know, loud and all that stuff like that. But this particular part that we're in, it's a, uh, it's a fair part. I mean, it got its problems. Everywhere has its problems, you know. But uh, this little section that we're in right here is a cool, more quiet part. Like, the rougher side is on the other side of this area. Not like look. It's not as much as it is over here and we like that. So excuse me, I just farted. Oh my god. I literally thought you had something to say. I did, I said excuse me, I just farted. It had a little toot out my boot. Oh my god. Y'all Let me tell y'all, first of all, he is so nasty. He is so nasty. I'm not even going to get into that. Because you, you're just nasty. Because they always stink. They smell like dead people. Vomit. vomit zombies. Uh, uh, bad Indian Chinese food. Thai food. Yeah, I know. Yeah, see, he know all this stuff. Cause, this all the time. Yes, because them joints be dead wrong. Dead, dead wrong. And her feet smell like everything she just named. He's a lie. You a lie all the way. Fix that. Stop playing with me. Eric. A word. He's playing. Okay. Okay. He playing. Don't nobody care. It's whatever. 
You bad, y'all. Anywho. So, that's that's how he sees it. Um, There is more help out here compared to what I've experienced when we was in Indiana. And this is a smaller place than where we were. It is. It's definitely a smaller place. <laughs> that's the part that's crazy. Like, I've literally taken you all the way around Richmond. Um, mm, that's Richmond. We're not in Richmond anymore. Where are we at? The world will never know. Who knows? We're in North Carolina, though. Y'all will know in due time. But anyway, I don't know y'all see that face. Why are you so handsome? Anywho, see you always be playing. That's why I want on you. <laughs> Anyway, but um, they do help more than Indiana did. Um, we've gotten we've gotten so much done within our first like two weeks of being down here. Within our first like yeah, within our first two weeks, two weeks of being down here, we've gotten so much stuff done. So right now we're playing a small waiting game, which isn't even that long of a waiting game. And we're still getting stuff done. Um, you know, we, we've gotten settled, somewhat settled with some things already um, to keep things afloat. So we're, we're, uh, we're definitely getting things together and we're definitely... Okay, um, I know the last video, like I said, last video y'all saw on here was us playing tag with kids, um, which was our kids and, um, oh, our kids and my nephew, um, or a young, a young boy who's like my nephew, um, we played with him, I think is that all we played with, yeah, I think it was just us and him. Might have been my actual nephew out there too, but I don't remember. But uh, yeah, we played tag with them and stuff. So that was our last video we posted. Um, we just been repping and running like constant nonstop. And then last week, we definitely didn't do nothing because I got sick. Like I said, I was sick really bad and I was down um, the whole time. Today is the first day I'm actually. Um, up well, tomorrow was i mean yesterday was it yeah you but yesterday up. i got up what that evening at like three you've been up since then though yeah i haven't i haven't slept at all when i since i woke up at three something yesterday i haven't slept so i think i'm almost about to be up 24 hours and i'm paying for it really really bad and the reason I'm paying for it really bad is because the medicine that I take um, has created some extra issues and it's not looking good at all. Um, if When it starts making my husband concerned, I stop doing it. And that's just about anything. If anything, when my husband got a question what I'm doing or yo is this right and you know are you sure you should take this and yo this is scaring me and all this stuff like that or whatever you know or I'm freaking the kids out and stuff like that yo I there's the change to it quickly so right now I'm suffering in pain but I'm willing to suffer in pain until I can get to my doctor on Monday um that part is still being worked on because I went to the hospital and let me tell y'all, I went to the hospital when it first happened, kind of, like the second day it happened. I don't know. I think it was the second, I think it was the second day it happened, and I got completely sick. Um, no, I didn't get completely sick then. I was just sick. But the second day it happened, I went to the hospital, and they sent me right back home. 
Like it was nothing. Like it was nothing. And then I literally got worse once I got home. Like, it was really bad. And I, I'm glad we didn't record then. Um, it, was, it was just a lot. And I wouldn't have been able to deal and cope with that. You know, it was a lot for him to deal with. You know, the kids deal with and stuff like that. So, that part I kind of left for just the home life. So, but I have no problem talking about the experience of what I go through when I have Addison's disease. Because it is a rough experience for me. And some people don't experience it the way each another person does. So, mine's is, uh, mine's come with a lot of extra stuff and the constant fainting and stuff like that. So, stress definitely triggers it though. And, uh... I guess I should have been a little bit more prepared for this because this is a stressful situation. But then at the same time, I was like, you know, nah, I got it, you know. And that's just all. It was a lot because I dealt with the moving and then we dealt with, you know, him on the train with the flu and, you know, really sick when he was sick and stuff like that. And that and then we got kids and then we got school and then we got this and it was just back to back to back and I had it I'm not gonna lie I had it because I managed to take care of almost everything before I got really really bad I will say that I took care of everything before I got really bad and it was like right when we knew I had to settle down for stuff or we, we would be waiting for an appointment here or waiting for an appointment there that's when all of a sudden I got sick and got bad so, that's what, uh, that's what happened. So, it was, a, uh, it was a lot, you know. I can't, I can't stress how much, you know, I appreciate him for helping me, like, telling you, babe, it, it, the way you described it, can you give, nah, I don't even want you to give a description. It was just really bad. But I thank him so much. Like, I love him so, so much. Honestly, I do. I love you, baby. Love you, too. Ooh, he's so cute. Aw. That's my baby, y'all. Y'all just don't know. I've been in love with this man since middle school. We dated in middle school. That's another story. I'll tell y'all on another story time or something like that one day. But that man right there, boy, he was a heartthrob in school, boy. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Seventh, seventh grade. Knock the wood over again. Oh, yo, hold on. Oh, he realized I caught me cheat. Um, fixing the, mm. fi- fixing the, uh. You heard her, y'all? I realized I caught her cheating. Well, don't even do that. <laughs> That's what she was about to say. Talking about thingy. Like, the board thing. Y'all, let What's me tell y'all. the board thing? This little patio balcony thingy. Look, I don't do this stuff. I don't know. The wood porch. There we go. Got it. Wood porch. But, yes, seventh grade, this is my sweetheart. This was my baby, seventh grade, y'all. Weren't you? They didn't hear you. They need to hear a yeah. Hmm. 
No, need to hear you. No, they don't know that. Yeah. Huh? I said yes. Oh, okay. And that's not me making him say it. Well, that's me making him say it. But he really was, though, for real. Right? Mm hmm So, that part is real. But I've been in love with him since seventh grade. So, the fact that we reconnected together 21 years and seven months later was amazing to me. Like, to be married to him. Woo! It's the most enjoyable feeling of my life. You know, so. I don't know. Everybody's done all the other stuff already. We both been married before. Blah, blah, blah. But this one right here. Well, this right here is it. I'll see my ring. <laughs> Say no, let me stop. But, uh. But no, like, it's cool. Anyway, um, back to what I was saying, though, on some serious stuff. Um, although the, all that is serious, so I will do another story time one day of that. Um, and I guess I can do more story time videos as well. Um, because everybody likes a good story time here and there. And I want y'all to get to know us more. And stuff like that, so. Y'all can be more part of our lives. Like, we plan on making y'all more part of our lives. Um, you know, stuff like that. Is that cool with you? <laughs> You're just too smooth, ain't you? Yo, he's just too smooth. I can't win. Yes, I can. I'm lying. <laughs> Anywho. Um. Yeah, it's a. Um. I thought that was cool, but oh, it did. Anyway. Well. That's pretty much it. Like I said, we. And like he said. You know, it's a pretty good choir neighborhood and stuff like that or whatever. We actually. Like it here. I ain't even talking about the neighborhood. I'm talking about just in general. Just where I've been out here in North Carolina. Um, I ain't naming no places. I'm not. I don't do all that. But everything has been. Everything's the same no matter where you are here. It's probably even the same to tell you the truth, even in the ghetto spots. But it's of course, the of course, the ghetto though. But. They got more respect for people out here than they doing where I'm from. You know what I mean? But um, it's definitely better than um than Richmond. Mhm. Mm I feel bad for y'all if y'all got if y'all watching this because this thing is it's going on 24 minutes long. <laughs> Yo, it ain't about to go that long. And if it is, we about to get ready to stop it anyway. Nonetheless, though, we definitely appreciate you for watching our video. Um, hope y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all come back. We're going to be dropping more videos. Uh, and don't forget the fries. That's not our saying. <laughs> that is literally, oh my goodness. This is the second time he's done that video. I mean, done that saying. This is what makes it go, because I have to explain how it's not fries for us. It's not fries for us, y'all. We don't have fries. That's our daughter's. Oh, my bad. And don't forget the shrimp. Fine, you can say and don't forget the shrimp. And the fries. We're not eating fries. First of all, that is our daughter's, Nima and Portia's page. It's Nima. Oh. I think it's Nima. And the and symbol thingy and Porsche. Could be wrong. I don't know. It'll probably be in the description down below. Anywho, other than that, are we done without the shrimp and the fries? Or you could bring the shrimp. Okay. 
Alright, y'all. We out. Why why must you do that? Bye, y'all. He played too much. See, there you go. You always showing off. He's showing off. I'm gonna have to tap his little arm. That's my baby the boy. <laughs> mine all oh, mine all oh, mine all oh, mine. You so handsome. You so handsome. Can I kiss? Mm, that's your kiss. <laughs> Oh, he's so sick. All right, y'all. We out.